Hi folks, it's Andy and welcome to this week's Kendo video analysis video. Uh, <laughs> um, I've got a bit of a different setup today. Uh, let me know if you think it's good or rubbish or what. Um, there's comments down below to do that. Um, okay, so this is a, um, a series of videos that I do where I take videos that I find basically on YouTube um, and I um, take you through my journey with Mitori Yeko with them. Uh, I've done a few different types now. Uh, we looked at um, some Shi'ai video last week from Mr. Nishimura, um, the current All Japan champion. Um, hopefully he's going to be the three-time champion champion uh next week next week uh that'd be awesome if you manage to do that um <clears throat> we'll see um so go and watch that if you haven't seen it yet uh but yeah basically uh, i take videos that i found um and I, I sort of analyze them um as as we go through them as it were um now i found this video and i've actually posted this to our blog before um and it's a really awesome video um it's actually um a demonstration uh, it features the very famous uh, Naoki Eiga Sensei um, of the World Championships fame, of course, with his Kata Tetsuki. Um, and uh, he's now the Hachidan Eight Dan Sensei. Uh, and we have uh, Yamamoto Senshu from Osaka. Uh, she's been the All Japan champion a couple of times. And Toyomaru Sens uh, Senshu as well. Um, I think she's been in the All Japan a few times. Uh, quite a famous player again from Osaka. Uh, both of them um, sort of part of the Japanese national team selection group. <clears throat> so uh, what I thought I'd do today is this video basically shows them um, kind of giving a, giving a demonstration of uh, Keiko methods, practice methods, um, with um, instruction given from Eiga Sensei. And I thought it'd be nice uh, to kind of give you a bit of a rough translation of, of what he's saying as we get to watch them uh, do it. So as, a as opposed to me sitting there and analyzing their every movement, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best <laughs> to re ba repeat back to you in English um, the points that Ega Sensei is making um, about the demonstration as it's happening. Um, so a couple of things before we get started though, first of all, uh, don't forget like, share, subscribe, join the Kendo Show Early Access group because that's where you can... Uh, get all the early access to the Kendo Show videos uh, when we upload the ins instructional content, stuff like Kendo Zero to Shodan. We put a new video for that up um, earlier this week, um, but it was actually available last week in the early access group. So uh, that's a great place to be. It's a great place to post your qu questions as well for Kendo Rant, which is a different video series that I do. Um, so go and join that. It's a link in the description down below. And uh, if you like what I do, if you like Kendo Rant, if you like <clears throat> these video analysis um things uh, and if you like um kendo gamer which is another thing that i do on a sort of monthly basis uh, you can support me by shopping uh, at kendo star that's my website and it's amazing amazing the best kendo equipment in the world ever ever full stop so yeah go and shop at kendostar.com <laughs> okay uh, and lastly before um before we do jump into it one more thing um look i'm not a professional translator um, and this isn't like perfect audio quality either. I don't have amazing hearing. Um, so there's loads of things stacked against me here. So that it's probable that I'm going to make some mistakes with uh, translating. So if someone's out there that speaks ja better Japanese than me, um, which I'm sure there's plenty, um, <laughs> um, and I made a mistake, uh, I apologize in advance for that. Um, I'm doing my best uh, to get it as accurate as possible. But um, yeah, I might, I might mishear things. I might misunderstand things. Uh, my Japanese isn't super brilliant anyway. Um, but we'll do, we'll, we'll do what we can with what we've got. Okay, so let's get started right away. I'm going to hit play right now. Um, so here we've got... Um, Oh, one more thing before we get <laughs> go even further. Uh, the video is from this channel. Um, I think it's called Oyoki Kendo Doga in uh, Japanese there. Um, it's not my video. I haven't filmed this video, uh, but go and watch it. There's a link to the original one um, in the description down below. So um, this is, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because this is uh, the three, three of them getting ready. Here's Eiga Sensei here on the left. We've got uh, Yamamoto Sensei there. And I think Toyomaru Sensei has just walked over to the back there. So let's skip ahead a little bit. Having a bit of a laugh and a joke. Don't think we need to watch that. Okay, so these are, all the kids are running around now to um, get ready to watch the demonstration. Keep skipping on through the... <clears throat> right, so we've got a microphone at least, so hopefully we'll be able to hear what he's saying. So obviously these kids are probably, yeah, it says two. So they're, they're junior high school kids, okay? That's the level of children that they're demonstrating to. 
So they're being told to hurry up. I agree. Come on, let's get on with it. Okay. So he wants to show us three types of practice as an example. So the first thing they're going to do is some kakari geiko, ai kakari geiko. Um, the two of them are going to do uh, together. That means they're both going to do kakari geiko at the same time. Uh, and Sensei would like us to watch uh, and look at the way that they do it and, and keep that in mind. The way they move. So this is a type of practice that um, the All Japan National Team um, ladies and the men, not just the ladies, it happens to be ladies that we've got demonstrating here, uh, but he says the men as well. Uh, this is a, a, a practice method that they use uh, and they kind of have to see if they're able to do it. <laughs> then after that, they're going to do Kirikaishi. And then they're going to do some more kakari geiko and uh, some uchikomi as well. And he'd really like you to watch and learn. So we're going to start. So we've got our back to our back. Uh, sorry, with their back to us is uh, Yamamoto uh, Mariko Sensei, of course, very, very famous. And we've got Toyo, Toyomaru Sensei uh, facing her. So they're going to do kakari geiko at the same time. Ooh, pretty good, eh? Okay, so I'm going to add my own commentary here. Obviously, the very, very sharp, beautiful waza, um, as many as possible in a very short time. You don't do, you know, this kind of kakarieko for a really, really long time. It's only for like 10, 15 seconds, I think that was. Um, short, intense, full energy. Really cool. So what's he going to say? What did you think he said? So here they're making attacks that are uh, fast, but also powerful, correct, accurate strikes. And you, you, the, during the aikakari geiko, the feeling of uh, attacking and receiving uh, is, is happening at the same time and it's really, really important. So he says this might be tiring because it's one after another, but they're going to do the full length of the space they've got um, to, to do Kirikaishi. So one thing he wants us to notice is whilst they're doing this kirikaishi, they're not just hitting upwards and uh, not aiming for the men, I think is what he means, uh, and not just swinging their arms. They're trying to do correct, um, accurate, good kirikaishi, not just, just swing the shinai. So we're going to see. So they're doing, they're doing ai kirikaishi here, which is where they're both doing kirikaishi at the same time. Okay. It's a bit different to what most of us do in our dojo. All the way down, all the full length of that dojo. That's two Shi'ai Joel's width, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> 
That's a good one, eh? So you're saying here, this was the um, Aikirikaishi, so they do Kirikaishi at the same time together. And whilst they're doing so, they're considering the uh, criteria of you call that also a valid point, uh, that it's the correct hasuji, the correct diag uh, angle of the sword, um, and the correct area of the shinai that they're striking with. They're making strikes that meet the criteria of you call that also, even though they're both doing it at the same time. So uh, this example that they just done now, uh, he's saying that the speed that they did it was the speed that everybody here present at this seminar, obviously the the children as well, um, is a speed that they they should be capable to do. Okay, you should be able to do it at this speed. Everybody can do it at this speed, right? <laughs> Uh, slowly, large strikes and accurate, correct cutting uh, is how they did it. But it's possible to do it even smaller and faster. <laughs> Who would like to see them do it? <laughs> So they've got to do it now. <laughs> so now they're going to have to do the Kirikaishi again, the same thing, but he wants them to do it small. So small movements and quickly. Okay, so this is my own commentary here. This isn't something that he's saying, okay, so it could be wrong. But <laughs> uh, the higher levels of Kirikaishi, this big correct kirikaishi is of course super important but there is a smaller kirikaishi as well so when you're striking um your sayu men your left and right men in kirikaishi it shouldn't be just with your elbows like this or just with your shoulders this way okay what's really important is that you're using your wrists as you strike yeah you're turning your wrists here this is what helps you develop your tenuchi okay so uh, at the higher levels this becomes smaller exercise where they're able to do it, turning their wrists in a very small, very quick uh, movement. Uh, it's very difficult, um, but it's a very good way to uh, develop the higher levels of uh, Tenuichi as well, of course, of Ojiwaza, stuff like that. So let's have a look at them doing it. And see how they don't lift it so high, but still accurate kirikaishi. So this time, of course, like I say, we, we saw them do the very small kirikaishi, not lifting the sword all the way over the head. This way is you're doing a sort of traditional kirikaishi, but small, sharp, fast movements. Um, again, to build that wrist flexibility that's so important in kendo. So even though, here's what he's saying, so even though they're doing it small, you can still uh, feel, understand the, the strength and the sharpness, the power of the strikes that they're making. So he's saying as well, particularly there's a lot of young girls there um, that the female players as well can make the sh uh, sharp, strong strikes uh, like the two that are demonstrating um it, it's not an excuse to hit lightly just because you're female is i think the point behind what he's saying so next they're going to do kariego and he's going to be the motodachi and then after that they'll do some uchikomi I think they're deciding who gets to go first <laughs> or last is maybe more the case. Yeah! 
Amazing. <laughs> okay, so what I'd really like you to take from that, rewind it and watch it again, um, is how uh, Ega Sensei is a really proactive motodachi. He's not just resting whilst he's being motodachi. He's, he's really proactive. I think this is quite a tiring exercise for motodachi also. It's not the time for him to just rest and relax. He's also... Um, even applying semi, taking the sen, then letting them strike. Um, I think that's really, really interesting for a start. But also, if you watch uh, Toyomaru Sensei, if you watch her doing the kakari geiko, you, I, I really think it's um, a tough thing to get in your head or your kind of... Um, in your system, really, that rhythm of kakari geiko, man, kote man, 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 though. Lots of us tend to fall into this, man, kote man, man, man. And that's not right. Yeah, it's not separate waza. It's all joined together in that sort of fluid rhythm. If you watch them do that just now, it looked very, very fluid and very um, comfortable. Okay, for want of a better term for kakari geiko. Let's see how uh, Yamamoto Sensei gets on with it. That was amazing, wasn't it? He's saying. <laughs> I was really impressed. See? Bam, 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 bam. This is not taking breaks in between, right? That's how you do Kariyeko. <laughs> Both parties really actively involved. Both parties really actively involved, working together. How was that, he says? That was good, wasn't it? You really felt the speed and the power of the strikes. So this is super important now, okay? It says that the people that can make continuous strikes like this are those that have got their footwork nailed down. The body weight or their posture isn't wavering. and therefore they're able to make correct strikes. And he'd like you to have the uh, impression that um, the correct ashisabaki and taisabaki, that's the footwork and the body movement, um, allow you to uh, make the correct strikes, the lower body movement from the lower body, he says, um, is what uh, you have to perfect in order to make uh, the correct strikes. So he said, now we just did some really hard practice, getting tired, uh, putting lots of power into it. Um, and as this is going to be the final practice that they do, um, he's, he wants them to uh, bring back the image of correct uh, kendo. Um, so they're going to do the nice big uchikomi geiko. Big straight strikes. And he wants to take note of the ashisabaki, the footwork, and the actual strikes, um, the shise, the uh, posture, um, and the quality of the strikes that they're making. He's going to receive again. So this time it's uchikomi geiko, not kakari geiko. Slightly different feeling. The point is, <laughs> before we get to it, the point is, this time he wants them to do big, correct, as uh, accurate 
uh, as possible, um, which is a slightly different concept to Kakarieko, which is really about STEMI attacking as much as possible. As, and yeah, so that get them to focus on the um, correct, beautiful, um, accurate Kendall. Well, a different flow, but there's still a flow to it, right? They're not taking breaks in between. Amazing. So no resting or breaks between still, but this time the focus is on accuracy and correct ashisabaki, shite, posture and striking. how the chuck store is also the chuck store is how they wear the burger wear the uniform it's all perfect yeah that's super important as well i mean that's day one stuff oh please applaud them <laughs> <laughs> So he said, how is that? We got to see the two of the top level uh, and wonderful female kendoka uh, in the world uh, demonstrate kakarigeiko kirikai shuchikomi uh, for us. Um, what he'd really like is to take the examples, uh, for us to take the examples that we've seen. Uh, don't forget them. Don't forget the points that they've made and what they showed us. Uh, put them into your heart, put them into your head um, and apply them to your practice. Uh, you know and that's the end of the lecture from the three of us uh thank you very much um so uh yeah that's uh basically um the end uh of what they have to say he doesn't say anything else throughout the video so as i'm aware and they're just going to sit down and take off the board now um but yeah uh what a fantastic demonstration um what a lot uh, to take from it, a lot to learn from it. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Um, like I say, I'm not a professional translator. Um, I wouldn't even say my Japanese is that good. So <laughs> I'm sure there's inaccuracies in there, uh, but I think you get the gist um, of what the overall feeling of the seminar was, the teaching points that he was making. Thanks a lot for watching today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that sort of thing, uh, and shop at Kendall Star. See you all next time. Bye-bye.